Hello. Welcome to Verbling. Oh no, please. What? Okay, are we okay? Ah, okay. <laughs> we seem to be okay. Hangouts is giving me a little bit of a scare here. It's kind of stop, start, stop, start. It's, it's, uh, I thought I was going to lose it for a second. Okay, uh, how are you doing? Uh, Des Desa Desarolo, is that right? Am I saying your name right? <laughs> is that right? Alvaro, oh, Alvaro, okay. That's easier. <laughs> Thanks. Hi, Alvaro. Uh, where are you from? Uh, Spain. Spain, okay. Nice to have you with us. Okay, uh, welcome to Verbling, anyone, everyone. Slightly shaky start. I, I wasn't sure Hangouts was sort of stop, start, stop, start. I'm um, glad to see everyone out there. Uh, come on in and join the class. Today we're going to be talking about at the hotel and at the restaurant. Um, we're going to talk about, we're going to learn a little bit of vocabulary. Maybe we'll talk a little bit about uh, hotels and restaurants. In, in your country and uh, then we're gonna practice some dialogues uh, um, if you haven't entered the class yet there's a document that you can download uh, below my class description and that would help you follow along when we get to the dialogues so uh, Alvaro do you, uh, do you go out to restaurants very often? Uh... Yes, I used to go to, I go to restaurants like once per week, something like that. Okay. Uh, what kind of uh, restaurants do you like to frequent? What kind of places uh, do you like? I frequent uh, Tapas restaurant. Ah, yeah. I don't know right. if you know Yeah, I do. Famous uh, Spanish, uh, not only cuisine, but style of eating, right? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, it's kind of a different style you, where you get small portions, but you 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 get tons of food, but little uh, little uh, samples almost, but mm -hmm. at a, a, some at a time. Yeah, I um I've eaten tapas in uh, New York City. Actually, there's a couple of great restaurants in New York. Uh, tapas. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. Um, okay, now. You, you're Spanish. What oh, I'm trying to think. What is the Spanish rice dish that has uh, a lot of seafood? Uh -huh. Oh my goodness! And it's rice. Yeah. And it I comes. Know. Do you? What's it called? Uh, paella. Paella. Yes. Very good. <laughs> yeah, I love paella. Yeah. Yum. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's personal favorite, actually. I love it. Uh, okay, uh, Igor is here. Hi, Igor. Good to see you again. Hi. Hi. How are you? I'm doing pretty well today. Thanks. Uh, so today's topic, we're going to talk about hotels and restaurants. Igor, do you go out to restaurants very no, often? On, um, only to how to say uh, small restaurants like uh, bars, mini restaurants. Ah, well, like, okay, good. Well, pizza, we start with the... Pizza restaurants. Pizza? <laughs> uh, um, okay. We we have here um, uh, something like a restaurant, but uh, it's not classic restaurant. It's something for younger people. Okay. Well, there's also, uh, you know, there's many different kinds of restaurants. For example, Alvaro was talking about, he goes to tapas restaurants. Um, you could a small restaurant usually where there's outside seating is we call it a cafe. Yes, uh, I think cafe we have most in uh, our okay. city cafes, uh, and we have also restaurants, but um, it's uh, quite expensive I think uh, in that restaurant and in it is for older people. 
who is ah. uh, 40 years old and uh, elder. <laughs> I think <laughs> really, but for younger people who is uh, twenty, twenty, thirty, uh, uh, they go to cafe usually. Oh, uh, okay, interesting. It's interesting that there's a sort of an age gap there. Hmm. Uh, of course, a pizza place. We could say pizza place or pizzeria. Yes. Pizzeria. Yes, pizzeria. We have you know, yeah okay. many pizzeria. Do you have uh, a lot of fast food places? Yes, we have uh, like uh, McDonald's, like kebab, uh, something kebab. like that. <laughs> kebab named yeah. kebab, and uh, you go there and like McDonald's. Oh, same. really? Oh, okay, cool. Uh, what do you, do you call it? McDonald's. Actually, this may sound like a stupid question, but in my travels around the world, people have different names for it. Uh, I'm American, and we called it Mickey D's. Oh. I don't know why we did, but now I'm here in the Philippines. I live in the Philippines, and everyone calls it McDo. I'm going to go get a burger at McDo. I, I don't know. Hits it, McDonald's. It, McDonald's. It's McDonald's. Yeah, I call it yes. the actual name. Well, that makes sense. Uh, Alvaro, what do you call McDonald's in Spain? Uh, we call it my McDonald's. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. I see. Okay. Now, actually, I wanted to talk a little bit about like prices and uh, exactly what Igor is talking about. Is it expensive to go out to eat in in Spain? Where are you from in Spain, Alvaro? Uh, I'm from Canary Islands, which are. Oh, really? Yeah. Have you, have you been there? No, no, I, I, I know of them, and I've seen television programs about Canary Islands. It, it seems very interesting to me. Yeah, I've never met weather. anyone. Okay, nice weather. Yeah, looks nice. Uh, it's not expensive to eat in in, in Spain. I mean, we have uh, what we call menus, which is like two dishes: uh, a first one uh, and the main dish. Um, with the drinks included for 10 euros, and it's, it's very popular here. With drinks included? Wow. Yeah, yeah. It's like with wine and with, yeah. Wow, that's very reasonable. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's very popular. Um, when the weather is, is, is good, I mean, when the spring comes, it's, it's very popular, and the streets are full of uh, terraces. I mean, the restaurants uh -huh. put tables in the street, and... Many, many people are eating in the street. Ah, okay. Um, we also call that dining al fresco. If you're, if you, when we, al fresco, when we eat outside. Oh, right? Yeah. <laughs> right? Are you uh, yeah. eating al fresco? Yeah, that's nice. That sounds great. Okay, I'm going to say hi to a couple more students who are joining us. Uh, Ahmed, how are you? Ahmed, can you hear me? I'm fine. Okay. Yes, I can hear, I'm near you. I'm uh, so happy to join you. Well, I'm happy to have you here. Ahmed, I have to ask you a question. Are you? Is that you standing on a horse in your picture? In your... Yes, yes. Is this me? <laughs> wow. Yes, behind, behind me, a pyramid. I see that. So I'm going to guess you're from Egypt? Yes, yes, I'm okay. from Egypt. Good guess, huh? <laughs> okay. Uh, really? Um, well, that's kind of a shocking picture. Can you? Was this a once, one-time kind of thing, standing on the horse, or do you, is this something you do regularly? No, no, no. This uh, one moment only. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. I just had to check. Okay, uh, today we're talking about hotels and restaurants. Um, Ahmed, do you go out to restaurants to eat? Uh, not uh, usual, but uh, we are uh, to go to uh, hotels to eat. Maybe to a restaurant okay. or, or cafe, something like that. But uh, hotels, it's, uh, not, uh, it's not usual. Okay, but uh, all right, but you do go out. How about in a restaurant? Is it expensive to eat in a restaurant, or...? Yes, yes, expensive oh, really? uh, to me, expensive to me, yes. Mm, okay. All right, we're going to talk a little bit more about that. What kind of restaurants 
if you're going to go out to a restaurant, Ahmed, what kind of restaurant where would you go to? What kind of food? What uh, kind of food? Yeah. I uh, I like uh, pizza. <laughs> you do? <laughs> pizza? <laughs> wow. Yeah. Me too. I like pizza. <laughs> but uh, but uh, not uh, we have in Egypt is a local restaurant make pizza. Egyptian pizza. Egyptian, Egyptian pizza. Okay. Yes, it's near from uh, Italia, but uh, different. Okay. Well, how is it different? This is interesting. Uh, different because uh, uh, the we suffering the meat inside, not outside. Oh, the meat is inside, not on top yes. of the pizza, but inside. Yes. It's in the bread. Yes, yes. Ah. Yes, yes. Okay, that's interesting. Hmm. I'd like I'd like to try some. Okay. <laughs> okay. I I I will invite you to come. <laughs> oh, great! That's terrific. Oh dear. Yeah. Uh, I'm starting to wonder if people are having problems getting in the hangout because I I was actually having a little bit of a problem. Did Ahmed? Did you have any problem getting into the hangout today? No, no. This is easy. This is my first oh. time uh, joining Verbling. Okay. This is easy. Oh, good. All right. Well, thank you for that. Um, <clears throat> okay. I have a question. I was hoping there'd be more students because I find this very interesting. Uh, one thing uh, that has to do with hotels and restaurants that is very different all over the world is the custom of tipping. Okay. Giving a gratuity or a tip to the waiter, uh, or a tip to maybe the person carrying your bags at the hotel. So uh, I would like you to tell me a little bit about, if I come to your country, what should I know about tipping? Um, Igor, uh, what do I have to know about tipping? Yes, uh, if, to, if you go on. to a restaurant, uh, you can uh, give ti how to say correct you can give tip or uh... well it's a noun so, well actually it, it can be a noun or a verb igor you can tip the waiter or you can uh -huh. give the waiter a tip uh -huh. either way you can tip the waiter but you uh, can uh, you uh, how to say that cannot tip the waiter you oh, <laughs> actually we have kind of a slang for that if you in America, you're you know you're expected to tip the waiter. Really, you are. But if you leave no tip, you stiff the waiter. Uh, okay, this is kind of unique because, of course, we think of stiff as an adjective, something that's oh my back is stiff. It's it's hard and not flexible. Um, but it can be a verb too. In this particular mm -hmm. situation, if you Leave zero tip. You stiff the waiter. <laughs> you yeah. can tip the waiter. You can stiff the waiter. <laughs> so it's uh, up to you. But um, it's. Uh, I think it's normal to to tip the waiter. Not much. How much you want? Uh, as uh, symbolic something to 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 give. Okay. Uh, so there's no exact percentage that I should. Keep in mind. No, but uh, in uh, um, some restaurants, um, on the bill where you when you pay a bill is uh, written that uh, a person from this uh, 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 one person I don't know how much uh, will go to restaurant salary to waiter salary who who help you. How okay. To say. Yeah, okay. Uh, that may be called a, sometimes it's called a service charge. Sometimes you see that in the United States too. Sometimes it depends. It only they only do it for large parties. By the way, if we're talking about going out to a restaurant, we have a special word for the group. <clears throat> okay? We we call it a party. If there's four of you, it's a party of four. 
Okay. Uh, what do you mean, uh, group group of what? Uh, <laughs> the group of people that you go out with. If if you and I and Alvaro uh, okay. and okay. and uh, Ahmed all go out, the four of us, then we're a party of four. Okay. I, I don't know. It's, it's kind of odd, actually, but that is the normal vocabulary we always use. Um, okay, Teacher Oakley, party of four, right this way, sir, like that. <laughs> anyway. Okay, so nothing really. How about uh, how about uh, uh, Igor? How about taxis? Would I tip a taxi driver? Taxi. Uh, yeah. Usually, when you uh, want to take a taxi, you call in taxi service and say, uh, "Hello, I want taxi at this address." Uh, uh -huh. And they uh, and you ask how much will it cost, and they say, for example, five dollars uh, from this to go from this place to that place, and. Um, um, you say okay, and taxi ca come to your home in five minutes, for example, or in two minutes because uh, here is small city, or in two minutes, and uh, you go to taxi and uh, you give only that money that the operator said to you. Uh -huh. We do not tip taxis because here price for taxi is not expensive, but it's normal prices that you do not need to pay something more for this service. Okay. It's actually that's interesting. All right, um, uh, all right. I, I want to talk to somebody else about tipping in your country. Mustafa, are you there? Yes, sure. Hi, Mustafa. How are you? Ooh, your your microphone isn't very good. I don't know. I can hardly hear you. Can yeah. You, yeah? Can you just barely. Um, where where are you from again, Mustafa? I forgot. I know I asked you before. Uh, I'm from Egypt. From Egypt as well. Okay. Uh, so, uh, Mustafa, when you go out to eat in Egypt, do you should you sh if I'm going to Egypt, what should I know about tipping? Like, if you go out in a restaurant, should I leave a tip, extra money for the waiter? Uh, no. No? Oh. Really? No. You have to give uh, the waiter extra money. It's not necessary? No. Oh, okay. Really? Hmm. Interesting. I, I object. <laughs> you, obj <laughs> you object. <laughs> okay, wait a, wait a minute, Mustafa. Uh, Ahmed over here, who's also from Egypt, uh, would object. <laughs> Why do you object, Ahmed? Uh, in, in Egypt, uh, coming to uh, give a tip to Wittar, to, uh, uh, to uh, uh, the man who helped you to uh, bark your car or something uh, like that in, sta in Bethel Station. Mm-hmm. Okay. So what should I be thinking? What should I be thinking about a tip? For example, um what's uh what's the currency in Egypt? Is it dinar? What it, what is Egypt? Bound. Egyptian bound. Oh okay. Well what should I be thinking? Uh like percentage of a tip. Ten percent of the bill? Five percent. Depend on depend on the person who uh, give. Maybe uh, low. Okay. Uh, maybe some people give low and uh, some people give high. Depend on okay. the person. It's up to you. All right. Okay. All right. Fair enough. <clears throat> okay. Um, I'll, I'll get to everyone, but uh, Alvaro, how about in Spain? What's what's the custom as far as tipping? If I go out and have some nice tapas, what can I? <laughs> should I be? Uh, uh... It's optional to give tips in Spain to the to the waiters, um, but if you are happy with the waiter, he was a nice person. He treated you properly. If the food was all right, it depends on on these things. Mm -hmm. uh, you normally give like ten percent. It's like if it costs like. 18 euros, you, you just give a note of 20 euros and, and you give the tip to the waiter. Ah, okay. All right. Well, that makes sense. That's very similar to 
Philippines. Actually, Philippines is a lot like uh, what you guys are saying. I'm in the Philippines now. Some people, many Filipinos don't tip anything, but 10% really, but you don't have to. It's kind of strange. In the United States, if you don't tip anything, ee, that's not good. They, they actually expect 15 to 20% in the United States. And really, there's a reason for that. Um, I, I used to be a chef in the United States, so I know this is true. Uh, actually, in the United States, they have a minimum wage for everyone. If you're a carpenter or you dig ditches or you're a gardener, there's a minimum wage that you have to make. You have to make at least $7.50 an hour. Uh, I've been out of the United States for a while, but when I was there, there is a completely separate minimum wage for waiters and wait waitresses specifically. A completely separate minimum wage. Their minimum wage is two dollars and seventy-five cents. Used to be two fifty or two thirty-five. Yeah, and their actual salary that they make quite often their paycheck is zero because their entire salary is their taxes. So they make no tip. They make no money. They could if actually if they made no tips, they could end up having to pay the company the extra taxes. Yes, it is? I'm dead serious. Dead serious. Absolutely serious. Very, very common in the United States to have a paycheck of zero. You're hoping that it balances out. Um, to pay, you're hoping you, that you have enough to pay taxes. Wow. <laughs> yeah. So that's why in the United States, if you don't tip, the people, the waiter or waitress is going to freak out. You know? <laughs> I've seen, you know, I worked in... I worked in restaurants. I've seen waiters and waitresses chase customers out the door. Why didn't you tip me? Why didn't you tip me? My baby needs medicine. What are you doing? Really, I, I've seen that. But yeah. If you are working in a restaurant as a waiter, and uh, there is there are no people there, people doesn't go in an afternoon, so you don't earn money, but you have to you lose money, really. Yeah, I mean, it's possible. Yeah, most people tip though. But, you know, actually, it's kind of funny. When I worked in restaurants, like, uh, British people commonly tip 5%. So, uh, you know, like a waitress would get the, um, <clears throat> the table of British people. And, oh, God, British people. Jeez, British, don't give me the British people. Why do you give me all the British people? Because <laughs> they always tip low. And Canadians are a lot of Canadians come to the United States. They're usually ten percent. So, yeah, waiters and waitresses know what people from different com countries tip. They know what's custom. It's kind of funny. Uh, which but, is the country you, you like the customers to be from? I mean, who, people from where usually pay more? Um, actually, Americans are the best because basically they have the highest tipping but most European countries are okay that they're not going to worry about people from any basically anywhere in Europe they, they don't mind uh, in the US but what about Asian people what about Russian Asian. people Asian, Asian Asian oh Asian people yeah okay they don't yeah they're very risky some tip and some don't um, yeah, I don't, I don't really even understand Asian people because some of them tip nicely and some of them tip nothing. But the, many Asian people are very demanding of waiters and waitresses. They keep them running, for sure. <laughs> it's expected. It's just their custom in Asia. You expect very good service. And the, nothing wrong with that, really, but it's their custom. Um, okay, I'm, I'm going to say hi to... Oh, if I can. Jia? Uh, Jia? Am I saying your name right? Hello. Mr. Balal? Okay. Hello. How are you? I'm fine. Thank you. A am I saying your name correctly? Jia? Is that right? Yeah, yes. The okay. Thanks. All right. Uh, Dia, where are you from? Egypt. 
<laughs> okay. Uh, another Egyptian. <laughs> There's a bunch of you here today. Okay. What time is it in Egypt? Oh, really? What time is it in Egypt yes. right now? It's uh, 10 25 a.m. A.m. Okay, so it's in the morning. Uh, okay, it's in the morning. It's Saturday. All right, that makes sense. Okay. Uh, where are you from in Egypt? Yeah. Uh, Mansoura. Mansoura. We don't know that. Okay. Um, if I'm in Egypt sh and I take a taxi, first you have taxis, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. If I take a taxi, should I tip the taxi driver? You actually you shouldn't. You don't have to, but uh, okay, he's probably gonna steal you anyway. Okay. All right. Is that uh, if I'm gonna get around in Egypt? What is that? And I, I'm a tourist. Is that the normal way? Would I take a taxi, or would I? Travel some other way. Um, Egyptians, yeah, pay fees and for for taxes uh, less than the tourists do. Uh, um, uh, usually, tourists pay more. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, tourists pay more for taxis. Um, yeah, and actually, yeah, in the Philippines, the same thing happens. Uh, yes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, very common. And I live here, so but obviously my skin is white. I'm obviously Caucasian. And so they see me and they try to charge me really double pretty much and I, you know, I just laugh and say, "No, I live here. <laughs> I pay taxes in your country. I don't need to pay that much." Yeah, forget it. But yeah, I've had that argument before. Yeah. <laughs> Certainly. I, I'd like to say hi to Alessandro. Well, that's a nice name. Alessandro, are you there? Hello. Hello. Uh, Hello how are you today? Watching? Yeah, how are you doing? I'm fine, and you? I'm, I'm good. Doing good. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you as well. And where are you from? Italy. Italy, excellent. Uh, okay, so... We've been talking about a little bit about hotels and restaurants, especially tipping. What do I need to know about tipping in Italy? Uh, uh, the more you tip people, the more you get uh, an extra service. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> yeah. uh, as long as you are in Rome, Venice, Sardinia, you will have to, to pay a big tip because uh, the, we have... Uh, um, very um, uh, high class uh, restaurants and places mm -hmm. uh, but if you go um, to Sicily Palermo um, I mean in the down you will find uh, you don't have to, to pay a lot because people there are, uh, actually they don't give a good service <laughs> they don't give good service. <laughs> really? Why? Yeah, what do you What do you mean they don't give good service? Um, at, um, in Italy, we we have uh, two ta two two kind of people. So we have the people of the south and we have the people of the north. Uh -huh. The people of the north are more civilized, you know, people <laughs> that love to work, and for that they <laughs> they 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 actually give you. Uh, what you pay for, but when you go to Sicily, you'll find some lazy people uh, that <laughs> don't like to work, so uh, you just uh, <laughs> you just uh, I don't funny. know, it's better not to pay, because in all cases you will not give any service, so it's better uh, okay. to get a lot of that's very that's very funny and l let me just make a couple comments your English is pretty good by the way uh, uh, if I could just make a couple comments one I'm living in the Philippines now and even here we have the north versus south 
thing. <laughs> I, when, even even when I lived in California, Northern California and Southern California, yeah. there's a big rivalry, or I don't know what you want to call it. It's, it's kind of funny. Yeah. That happens everywhere. Yeah. Actually, I, I don't know why. Japanese too. They have the same thing. North really? and South. Yeah. Japanese. It's common. It's uh, yeah, funny. It's a, it's a uh, yeah. And uh my second comment uh is uh most certainly, most definitely something we really haven't mentioned. You know, you started out saying the bigger you tip, the better your service is gonna be. And yeah. Actually, that's a great rule of thumb. If any of you go to the United States, go. It's fun. And you go out to a bar. Okay. The, when, when you buy your first drink at the bar, okay. give the bartender a huge tip. <laughs> You're going to want to give him a huge tip. Because then, you know, later on at night when there's a million people in front of the bar, all you have okay. to do is like this and... You get your yeah. drink right away. <laughs> so, so it works the same way in the States. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I believe that it works oh, yeah. in all places like that. And yeah. I believe it's a good way to live. Yeah, well, yeah. Exactly the same. Uh, Ismail. Hi, Ismail. Yes. yes, I'm talking to you. Hello. Hi. Hi. What's your name? Ismail is my friend, but he doesn't speak English. Okay, okay. Well, <laughs> what's your name? Tuba. Tu uh, tu T U G B A. T U G B A. Tuba. Tuba. Yes, okay. I, yes, that's right. <clears throat> wow, your name in English is a musical instrument. <laughs> Never mind. Yeah. Where, I hear my I hear my songs. You hear? Uh, yeah, you hear an echo. Actually, I was going to tell you, if you have uh, another window open, you have two tabs: one Google Hangouts and one Verbling. Just close yeah, the it, close the Verbling window. You don't need it, and it's causing an echo. Okay. Just a second. Yeah, please. Uh, sorry, okay. this is. Uh, I think it's because uh, they do not have uh, headphones. It's causing. Oh, ah, uh, yeah. Uh, headphones and microphone. Yeah, actually, also thanks, Igor. Actually, it would be much better, Tuba, if you have headphones. <coughs> but I don't need it. Ah, uh, okay. So well. What you can do in the top part of the screen, yes. up here, or here, I can't remember, up on the top Let's here, try. yeah, you see the microphone, you yes. have a little microphone with a slash, just mute it, unless close you're talking, open. close, close. Open, open now when I'm talking to you, but close when you're not talking, okay? Now, now it's closing. Okay. Well, now I can't hear you. All right. Well, now there's no feedback, so that's good if you're just listening. Okay. When you're just listening, then then you can keep it like that. And when I talk to you, just open it again. You understand? Give me a thumbs up. Thumbs up, Tuba. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Great. We got it now. Okay. Turn it on now, Tubuk. I want to talk to you a minute. Please. Turn it on. I, I would like to talk to you. I want to find out where you crazy people are from. Where are you from, Tuba? You guys are having too much fun. Okay, well, we'll, we'll try again when they settle down, I guess. Okay. Uh, everyone else in the class, I, I think I've talked to everyone at this point. Um, all right, now well, what we're going to do something. We're going to do a little role play. Okay, what we're going to do, uh, I'm going to screen share, and if you have the document that was attached to the class description in the front, um, you can follow along with that. So, 
Give me a second, and I will share a document on the screen here. Hang on. <laughs> okay, we're going to actually, since we're mostly, uh, okay, let's, we can do a few of these. Why not? All right, we're going to do a uh, role play. <clears throat> um, we're going to role play booking a hotel room. Uh, and one person is going to be the receptionist, and one person will be the part called you. Hang on, I'll screen share here. Okay. Here you go. All right, so... Who is... <laughs> who wants to... Here you go. Get I'm back. <laughs> I'm I sorry. I'm it's Just okay. A I'm speaking myself. It's all right. My boyfriend, because I have to go to work. <laughs> okay. All right. Nice to meet you. I'm sorry. Nice to meet you. See you again. Okay. Have fun at work. Have a good night. Thank you. Have okay. a nice day. Bye bye. Okay. Bye bye. <laughs> that was fun. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> all right. Just close the microphone. Okay. I, Igor's got it. All right. All right. All right. Let me. Uh, <laughs> let's try this again. We're gonna do a little um, role play. Uh, that was an interesting diversion. Anyway. Okay. Here it is again. All right. Uh, so one person's gonna be receptionist, and one person has a little bit of a harder job. Receptionists can just read, but uh, you, <laughs> whoever you are, is going to have to be a little more creative. Um, let's see. I volunteer uh, to be B. I'm sorry? I uh, volunteer to be the hard job, to, to, to make the hard job. Oh, to yes, be. you can. If I can, if I can, I'm sorry. I'm just... No, uh, no I, that's perfect. That's terrific. Hey, okay. uh... Ahmed, would you like to try doing a receptionist? Yes, I can do a receptionist. Great. All right, gentlemen, start your engines. Okay, give it a shot, and I'll scroll down as you continue. All right, Ahmed? Yes, I can start. Yes, please. A good afternoon, San Feliz Hotel. May I help you? Uh, yeah, sure. Uh, please, I want to reserve a double room. Uh, certainly, uh, win for uh, Madam. Madam? Uh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> right. Let's ignore I that. Just see the master. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a man. <laughs> Wait a minute. Yeah. Okay, uh, anyway. That's funny. Yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah. It's okay. So, uh, 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 yes, uh, please, please, uh, I wish it for uh, uh, the 40 and 15 of February. Okay. How long uh, will you be staying? Uh, I think a couple of days. What kind of room would you like, uh, Madame? <laughs> yeah. uh, if wish, I can call my wife. Don't you? I, 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 I will. I, I, I will cancel. I will. I will cancel this for. <laughs> yeah. Feel feel free to change that to sir. Okay. You, you can change yeah. that to sir. What what yeah. kind what kind of what kind of room would you like, sir? There you yeah. go. Yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 Uh, I prefer a double room, please. Uh, yes, a double room. Cer certainly, sir. Uh, I'll just check uh, what we have available. Uh, yes, we uh, yes we have a, a room on the fifth room uh, with a really splendid view. Uh, fourth floor. I hope yes, you have an elevator. <laughs> okay. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm just trying to be funny, man. <laughs> it's all right. Okay. 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 Yeah. Yeah. I, I take it. I take it. Okay. okay. Would you like? Uh, would you, would would you like breakfast? 
Yeah. Okay. I'd like the breakfast. And uh, can I can can I take the room uh, full board? Can I have the full board package? Uh, yes, you you can. Uh, yes, <laughs> it is uh, eighty four euro per night, excluded VAT. Eighty four euro per night. Okay, okay. It sounds it sounds good for me. I take it. Okay. Uh, who uh, who's uh, booking for uh, Belize? Uh, Alessandro Di Gasparro. Okay, let me make sure I I got that. Uh, yeah, sure. Yes. Uh, <laughs> yeah. 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 Never mind. Uh, okay. Double good. Double pass for for March. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the twenty third, uh, yeah. twenty fourth, and twenty uh, fifth. Uh, it uh, is that correct? Yeah, uh, but actually for March, uh, let. Uh, I don't know. Can can I have? Uh, okay. Do, okay. do I have? To just... I, will, I will give you a confirmation now. <laughs> <laughs> Good job, Ahmed. <laughs> just push him through, buddy. Excellent. <laughs> it, it is it is seven five seven six three eight uh, five. I will repeat that. Uh, okay. Okay. Thank you for choosing the San Felipe Hotel and have a nice day. Uh, Thank goodbye. you, buddy. I didn't mean to, to give you a hard time, but uh, uh, it, was, it was a perfect. You are welcome. Thanks. You okay. are welcome. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks. All right. Thanks, yeah. Excellent job, right. gentlemen. Very good. Uh, a couple questions, though. Um, Alessandro, you, you asked for, what did you ask for? Full boat package? What did you say? Yeah. yeah. Full board package. Full boat, like boat on the ocean. Ship. Board, board. No, full I mean board. Full board. Ah, okay. Oh, okay, okay. I got you now. All right. I didn't understand. So what he's talking about? Actually, we normally say full room and board package. Room how we, and board package. Yeah, room and board means okay. room, uh, a room for the night, and board is board means uh, food. Right, okay. you know, breakfast, lunch, dinner, usually, or maybe breakfast, okay. dinner, but right. Um, okay, all right, but that's okay. Um, no, and it's a full rooming board. Full room and board, yeah, exactly. Full rooming board, okay. All right, okay. And one other thing, Ahmed, you know what? I forget where it is here, but you said VAT. Actually, we usually just say VAT. Um, yeah, yeah, we just say the word. Do you, do you know what that is, Ahmed? It's like uh, B, uh, it's like Texas. Uh, yeah, I yeah. Don't know, I don't know. Okay, it actually it's a it's called a, first of all in English that's called an acronym. The letters represent words, and the words are value added tax. So it's an extra tax. Okay. Value added tax. That's yes, right. Mm -hmm. Sure. State tax, federal tax, and our our tax. Yes, or no? Uh, so, um, hang on. Say again. Uh, state tax, uh, uh, local taxes, and this what? And include. that. Yeah. V okay. That actually in the United States they don't call it that. They they call it sales tax or. We also have, um, actually, in the United States, we have lots of taxes. It's wonderful. Um, <laughs> we actually we have a sales tax. Like if I'm buying toilet paper, for example, um, then uh, federal if I'm buying tax, local tax, federal tax, local tax. There's a sales tax. We have room and board tax. We have sin tax, which is an extra tax on alcohol and cigarettes. We have <laughs> gas tax. I, I heard that. I heard about USA. You can't uh, run away from two things: to uh, from die and from tax. <laughs> <laughs> you got that right. Absolutely correct. The only thing that's certain is death and taxes. Absolutely right. Yeah, that's actually a famous expression. Yeah, there's so many different taxes. I don't even. It's crazy. 
But most countries have VAT. Uh, that's very common, uh, basic sales tax. In the United States, again, they have a, a regular sales tax is maybe 8%. For example, food that you buy, like if I buy an apple, there's no tax. But if I buy toilet paper or a toothbrush, I have to pay 8% sales tax. If I get a hotel room, this, the room and board tax or rooms and meals tax is 12%, I believe. So it depends. And then if I have a bottle of wine with dinner, part of the price of the wine is going to be an extra tax for alcohol tax. Yippee. It's yeah. like here. Really? Yes, different tax. Really? You have many taxes? Yes, yes. but uh, a lot of uh, people uh, didn't pay uh, as a real tax. <laughs> okay. A lot of people don't actually pay their their real yeah. tax. Yes. Though, their main tax. Yeah. Ah, they cheat. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. <laughs> Move to Egypt. This is a good idea. Yeah, right. Uh, yeah, this is a recording and it's going to be on YouTube. So uh, I, I, didn't, I didn't talk anything. <laughs> yeah, you didn't, you didn't well, admit anything. It's don't, too late now. <laughs> he, he didn't admit anything yet, so he's okay <laughs> so far. Okay. Yeah. All right. Um, okay, let's... Uh, Maybe we can get... Uh, uh, sorry, uh, can I ask you just uh, a question? Uh, uh, regarding the, 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 the joke I made about the mustache, uh, should, yeah. I had say, <laughs> uh, should I had say, um, didn't you notice uh, the, the mustache or haven't, seen, haven't you seen the mustache? How, how can or how should I had... Uh, I either, to either one of those would be normal, grammatically correct, and and funny. Either way you said it. <laughs> either way, actually, the, both those ways you just said that, no problem at all. Didn't you notice Correctly. the mustache, or haven't you seen the mustache? Either way, okay. Okay. you know, with of course the intonation, like a little bit unbelievable. Uh, didn't you see the mustache? You know. Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> the, the intonation would be there as well. Yeah, actually, I've done. A, I, I've worked in restaurants, and I've done quite a bit of other customer service related things, and that is one of the most embarrassing. And anybody who's done customer service, phone sales, or customer service, or tech support, we everybody who's done this has had this experience, especially where a woman calls on the phone and you think it's an, a man you start saying well sir I can oh. certainly help you with your problem sir oh. <laughs> and she has one of these voices <gasps> I'm a lady my name is Nancy <laughs> she sounds sorry. like a, she sounds like a gorilla or something sorry but <laughs> you can say without sir and madame you can say one okay uh, one moment I will help you without sir yeah. madame and it's all yeah and and that's true. And Igor, that is exactly the strategy that you should use. But you, it's still well. Once in a while, I mean, seriously, she has such a low voice that you are a hundred percent sure this is a woman. So you say, oh, "Okay, one moment, sir." You you don't even think about it. It doesn't occur to you. Is this a man or a woman? Sometimes you get a phone call from someone and you can't decide. So you do what Igor says. You just use neutral expressions absolutely and that's what you should do but every once in a while you get that and the, woman and then uh, you will ask what is your name and yeah. she will say my name is Lisa or my name is Michael or my name is uh, yeah Morgan. but yeah but English names you know Chris can be a boy or a girl Bobby can be a boy or a girl I, I think it's a uh, boy name okay. <laughs> Bobby and Chris no, no, they're not. They're, they're very common girls' names as well. Really, they are. Uh, Chris can First be. Time I, uh, oh, yeah. care that, uh, a, a man Chris can. 
a man could be Christopher or a girl could be Christine. They both get oh. shortened to Chris. And Bobby, uh, Robert, of course, is Bobby or Roberta. Oh. Is a woman's name. So you run into that a lot. There's a lot, quite a lot of names that can be either or. So, yeah. I, and the problem is when I've, ex I have actually, I'm telling you this from my own experience. When I had this situation with this man, woman, woman, I guess, she had one of those names. I think her name was Chris. And she told me she was a woman, but even after, it made me so flustered and nervous that I still kept saying, oh, I'm very sorry, sir. I apologize, sir. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> uh, it's, it's your fault. Yeah. It's your yeah. fault. I know. Yeah, it's happened, you know. It goes, yeah, it's happened. It was so embarrassing, really. Yeah. All right, uh, let's try one more role play. This time, uh, maybe uh, I can get um, Igor and Alvaro to try it out. Um, let me pull. Let me uh, throw one up here. Okay, hang on. All right, we don't have that much time, so I'm gonna skip forward just a little. Okay, now this is a very simple. So I want you guys to embellish it as much as you can. All right, just use this as a guideline, kind of. Okay. Um, hang on. Here you go. We're going to do uh, breakfast. You're, you're ordering breakfast. Think of something you, you might... What do you like to eat for breakfast? All right. Um, and instead of waitress, let's be a waiter. <laughs> yeah. Ah, uh, yeah. Here we go again. All right. Alvaro, do you want to be the waiter or the customer? I prefer to be the customer. Okay, you okay, can be the can customer. Be the customer. Uh, uh, Igor, you're, you're the okay. waiter. Um, um, Echo comes Echo from the Sororo. Sororo. Yeah, I think, yeah so. I think so. Where are we getting big Echo? Big echo. Yeah. Is it better now? Is, is it yes, it is, sir. Yes, it is, Thanks a lot. Thank no, it isn't. No, it isn't. <laughs> <laughs> I lied. I lied. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know what to do. If you have headphones, you have headphones. Do you have headphones? Uh, no, 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 right now. It's just okay. from the speakers. Okay. Um, what you can do is you can build headphones. Do you have two empty soup cans and a piece of string? <laughs> Kidding. Joke. Joke. Well, we can try it anyway. Okay, so yeah, we'll have to make the cut first for next time. Okay. Okay. All right. We, we can try it anyway. Might be interesting. <laughs> I will try to do my best. All right. Good morning. Are you ready to order? Uh, yes, I would like to order. Would you like anything to drink? Yes, I'd like a white coffee. Uh, anything else? Uh, yes, I'd like something to, to eat. Uh, uh, some toast with marmalade and butter. Okay. okay. Uh, it's all or it's something, all else? something else? Uh, I would like also an orange juice. Okay, I will come now with your order. Okay. Is it the same or clean or no? Yeah, you can yeah. say, uh, okay, um, coming right up. Okay, I will I will go place your order. I'll go put in your order. I will go put, how do you say? Put in your order. Put in, okay. Okay. Uh, all right, that, uh, that'll be coming right up. Coming right up, very common. Um, I have a question, Alvaro, you said... You what? You ordered a white coffee? Uh, yes. I I don't know how how to how how, how do you call it in, in the states? I, I would like some coffee with milk. Coffee with milk? Coffee with milk? Uh, just co coffee with cream. Coffee with cream. Coffee with cream. Yeah, that's yeah, it. That's it. Okay. We call it in in Italy caffè latte. Yeah. 
In front is Cafe Latte. Yeah. yeah. Here, here in the Philippines, they call it Cafe Americano, which I don't, don't understand. I love yeah. cultures. I, I don't get it, but whatever. Um, also, one other thing, Alvaro, and then I'm going to have to mute you. What juice did you ask for? Uh, orange. Orange. Okay. 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 Was not clear. Was not clear. Pronunciation. Not clear. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. Well, that okay, was a pretty good job. Good job. Um, you got yeah. like five yeah. minutes. Five minutes. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Can you mute, can you mute your, your thing here, thing. Alvaro? Starting to drive me bananas a little bit. Bananas. Thanks. Be cool. <laughs> Headphones next time, buddy. Uh. Okay. Uh, with coffee, all right. There are some things we have to know when we go to a restaurant. Uh, for example, uh, Ahmed, how do you like your eggs? Eggs? Yes. I adore about eggs. <laughs> you, you what? You adore eggs? Yeah. You okay? You really love eggs? Well, how do you like your eggs? How do you like them prepared? Because you can have scrambled, you can have over easy, over medium, sunny side up, poached eggs, boiled eggs. Boiled There's and uh, omelet. Omelet, okay. Boiled and omelet. Do you know what it means when I say over easy, over hard? Yes, yes, like uh, well done or medium or. Uh, yeah, like exactly. All right, good. Uh, all right. Do you, you know poached eggs? Poached eggs? Ah, poached. I should write that. I don't know. Okay, let me write it over here. Poached means that you're cooking something in water, not boiling water. You're not boiling the heck out of it like you boil pasta or something, or you boil rice. No, poached is lightly cooked uh, in not quite boiling water. Not enough to make the bubbles, but you can have poached salmon, for example. You can poach an egg. It's cooked. You crack the egg open, no shell, throw away the shell, and cook the egg in water and then carefully remove it. Mm. Mm, eggs Benedict. Mm. Okay. <laughs> Alessandra, how, how do you like your eggs, sir? Well, I don't know. Okay, I don't, I don't know where he went. Okay, for example, if I'm an American, I go out and have breakfast. I'm gonna say, I'd like coffee, cream, no sugar, eggs, fried, over easy, bacon, extra crispy, toast, no butter. <laughs> so, uh, what I was trying to explain to you is that when we when we do breakfast, if any of you go to America and you do breakfast, you have you give instructions for everything, really, exactly how you want it. Um, I don't know. People in America are very fussy about breakfast. I don't know, but that's common. Do Do you know Egyptian food? Egyptian breakfast? <laughs> no. What it was e Egyptian breakfast? Actually, it's be beans. Do you know beans? Uh, yeah. Actually, that's British too. British have beans. beans for Breakfast. Be beans with butter or oils and uh, and the eggs and uh, on onion, uh, green onion. Hmm. Okay. Interesting. Okay. In Philippines, they have fried fish, which I can't handle. Fried fish for breakfast, but <laughs> no, breakfast. no thanks. Yeah, yeah, that's what I said. I'm at breakfast. <laughs> That's what I thought about it too, Igor. What do you What do you have for breakfast? Usually, mm, usually, I don't know. Maybe uh, something like tea or coffee with something. With Just cheese uh, <laughs> with. Uh... You just have tea or coffee. You don't have eggs or. Toast or omelet or waffles. It depends. Or Every day uh, no, not the same. Maybe in one day uh, tea with uh, cheese, uh, or maybe in one day eggs, uh, boiled or fried. Uh, mm, okay. Day. Maybe cereals. 
Serial. Oh, right. I forgot about yes. Serial. Right. Okay. Um, when Every day something new, not uh, not the same. Uh, not only X X X or only right. Uh, right. Almost, almost, almost. Right, 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 right. Of course. Okay. Um, sorry to say, gentlemen and gentlemen, no ladies today. Didn't you see the mustache? Okay. Uh, <laughs> you know, you know, I've seen many women with a mustache. By the way, uh, all of you guys. Yeah, yeah, many of them. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. Okay. Yeah, all, right. <laughs> all right, gentlemen. It's disturbing. <laughs> it is disturbing. I agree. All right, it's uh, it was very great. Uh, nice to talk to you guys, and thanks a lot for coming to class. But I've got to get out of the way and make room for the next verbling teacher. So. Thanks okay, a lot, you guys. Thank you. See you guys again. Yes, you will. You most.